What's up guys, this is Alex, the most ruthless barbarian and welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to share something very special with you. I wanted to share a couple of absolutely epic defensive replays that I've had within the last couple of hours. So as you can see my defense log is pretty bad. Everybody's is, because getting to Titan League is hard, but to get some defensive wins is even harder. And especially when you lose like 34 trophies, this is pretty much when you say, you know what, I've had enough. This is enough beating, I gotta figure out something different, I gotta redesign my base, and that's exactly what I did. I've redesigned my base and my goal is to get 10 to 15 defensive wins per season. We'll see if that's gonna happen, but so far, this has been amazing. The first time I redesigned my base in a while, I've gotten two back-to-back -back defensive wins. One of them is 27 trophies, the other is three. Only three but it is much better than losing any trophies. All right, so here's the first replay. Bulgarian Wars is attacking my base. Four golems, one of them is in the clan castle, level 40 heroes. This is gonna be pretty brutal. Now, notice that I've changed my Inferno Towers to a single point attack. I think by the time the troops will get into the middle, the golem's gonna be able to advance a lot faster actually because the wizards are gonna get stuck on the outskirt of that uh, design, taking out all those buildings, pumps, collectors, storages, etc. And the golems should be shredded or melted by those Inferno Towers. Now, finally he lured the clan council. Obviously my Lava Hound at this point will not do any damage. Lava Hound locks in on one of those golems. Not really happening, not really going on much here, except for the wizards taking out all those lava pops and that's about it. But now this is pretty awesome. Look what happens here. Just like I said, the Inferno Tower is killing those golems really, really fast. Now Inferno Tower locks in on the king. He has to use first of his free spells a lot sooner probably. And the king actually was trying to get through the wall to kill my defending Archer Queen. Then he went back inside my base to get rid of those skeletons. By the time he came back, he was killed by Inferno Towers. Now, the only hope is that the queen, attacking queen, is gonna get further in and destroy or lock in on my town hall. He has to use, he needs to use his uh, special ability a lot sooner than probably he would want. And here's the epic mistake. He drops his free spell about three seconds or two seconds late. Look at this, guys. My town hall needed just one more shot from that archer queen and it would have been at least one star. But it was dropped way too late, and at this point there's really nothing that could save this attacker. The golems are going around, not a problem because my Barbarian King is at full health, is locked in on them, and just like I said, the wizards are taking their precious time taking out all the side buildings, so they're not even advancing fast enough. 47%, 25 seconds left. In desperation mo mode, he drops few more archers here and there, one minion, he will get him only 1%, and guys, that is it. 48%, we won this very strong attack, and I walked away with 27 trophies, which is absolutely amazing. Now, maybe he would have gotten to 49 or even 50% if he would have dropped his troops, remaining troops up north, but didn't happen. Okay, guys, so now, I got kicked out for playing six hours in a row. Supercell wants me to take a break, obviously, so I had to take a break. And I've been pressing that reload button for the last minute and a half. That means only one thing, I'm getting attacked twice. So that means I won for sure one, but let's see what's gonna happen to my base if, we can, if, we are, if we're able to get in. Sorry, I can't even talk, I'm so excited right now. Oh my goodness, I'm getting destroyed right here. It's gonna be a two star bear 6538 from CN. Ouch, minus 18 trophies. This is pretty bad. Now that doesn't look good for this base. But no, oh my goodness, I actually won. So I was attacked twice, back to back. 28 trophies for 39%. And by the way, this is pretty interesting. I was attacked by CN people twice in a row. So CN1 from CN1 attacked me once, lost to me, and this guy, by the way, was so close to the legendary status. 49 trophies, amazing. Oh my goodness. He lost 28 trophies and didn't give me a shield 
Let's go ahead and take a look at this replay. This is going to be awesome, guys. All right. So I made a few changes to this base, as you can see, probably. Oh, my goodness. This was a major, major mistake. He brings four jump spells. No free spell. And as I mentioned, I have my Inferno Tower set to a single point of attack. This is going to be a bad news for him, obviously, because by the time the Wizards are going to get in, all those golems will probably be melted down and gone. They're pretty brutal. They're strong, but they're not that strong. All right. So my defensive, uh, my clan castle troops are out. Again, Lava Pop, Lava Hound will not really do much damage, but it's a major distraction. So I'm hoping that he's going to drop. And yes, he dropped his Archer Queen right up there. She's going to get locked in on that Lava Hound and that will buy me some more time. So look at this, guys. The golem's already inside the base, in core, inside the core of my base. But the queen, the wizards are way behind, way behind. And my Inferno Tower will have no problem taking down those golems. And he doesn't have any free spells to save them from being destroyed. So just like that, like I said, the queen gets locked in on the Lava Hound. And really nothing could happen. Actually, she is, yeah, she's locked in. Very interesting, actually, because I would think she's going to redirect and attack my Barbarian King. And what did what did my Barbarian King do? That dude just walked by, walked away without even attacking my, that Queen. That was pretty strange. So the Queen is gone. 39%. This is brutal. All right. So he had two Archers, one Minion. He totally could have given me 40% and a 12-hour shield. But the guy decided not to. Oh, well, it is what it is, you know. I'm not going to say anything, but it's a game. I'll take it. I appreciate anything. 28 trophies. I'm pretty happy with that. So, yeah, that's about it, guys, for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do comment below. Smash the like button, as always. I really appreciate your help or any support that you give me. Until the next time, peace out. Love you all. Thank you.